so I don't think you guys can see me. This is opening day hunting, rifle hunting, whitetail 2020. And uh, we just walked in. The first hunting uh, shooting light is at 6.43 and it's 6.15. So we're trying to stay quiet now. in a tree stand now. I'll show you the view. It's overlooking uh, the food plot that I put that I put in um, earlier this fall. So we're gonna sit here tonight till last light and hopefully see something. Pretty windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, just walking back in, last light, or walking back to the house um, at last light, and I jumped a doe. Uh, I stopped and uh, tried to call and see if a buck was with her, um, but didn't see anything else. Uh, but it's always good to see something and not be skunked completely so it uh, made me excited to continue to hunt uh, so this is end of day two 
uh, Maine Whitetail 2020. All right, guys, taking the walk down into the woods. We got about an inch of snow last night. Just a nice covering, so hopefully we can see some tracks today, which would be great. Uh, <clears throat> I'm getting a little bit of a later start. Billy's already down here, and he's been in the tree stand since about five this morning. He said that uh, it's really peaceful and really quiet. So I'm just going to walk in slowly. Heading down to the cabin to meet Billy right now. It's about 5.30. First light's at 6. Um, yesterday our neighbor shot a nice 8 point. He said that they're definitely in the rut. So. This is Saturday. I think it's November 14th. Hoping for a successful hunting day. I'm glad I got out of bed. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can't even talk. <sighs> Holy cow. So I took a walk up to Fry Mountain land this morning. And uh, I was going to come to this field. And... Oh. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. I haven't seen it's getting towards the end of season. I haven't seen anything. I saw one doe on our land and uh, it's been really frustrating and so I've been telling myself you know if I see any sort of buck I really want meat in the freezer and I was walking up to this field and I saw a buck and I got down on my knees and he was walking away and I grunted and he turned and stopped and I took a shot probably 75 yards away and he dropped in his tracks didn't move from there oh I'm so pumped well Chris won't be hunting I'm all up in my gear because I have to take the four-wheeler into the woods because he can't drag his deer out because it stays all the way back on Ken and George's land um, in that field. He said he saw a buck and he went for it and shot him once and down he went. And so he's like, um, I think I need your help. So I'm letting the chickens out and that's that. Man, I'm just so thankful. Here he is, guys. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Just awesome. Awesome. I can't call him Ranger Rick anymore. Hunter John. I had to drive the four-wheeler out, get the chainsaw so he can cut this. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. So we can go get his back. So happy? Yeah. <laughs> Very happy. <coughs> I just talked to Chad. Yeah? Yeah. Did you call him? Or you texted him? He called me. I texted So, what are your details? I can't even talk right now. I heard you coming, so I ran up the hill. Give me a minute. And I grunted and he stopped 
Well, I got down on a knee. He didn't see me. He was looking away. I grunted. He stopped, um, turned, and broadside shot him, and he never took another step. Dropped him in his tracks. Well, the old Henry rifle. Sorry, Bambi's dad. <laughs> No, it's my dad's uh, four-wheeler. It was my Uncle Larry's. It's really um, not like meant for rooting around, but he brought it over. Uh, um, right up there, you can see the gut pile. Like right there. So that's where he shot him. You gonna help me get this? <laughs> I don't want to hold, pick him up. That's what I told you. I need you to help me lift him up. Oh. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. He needed me in the woods to help pick up this beast. And then I drove him all the way out of the woods. I think we were about a half a mile in. Um, our property abuts to Fry Mountain. And then the neighbors actually have a, like a logging trail that goes all the way back. So they let us go on it. But now I'm waiting for Chris to get all his paperwork. We're gonna load deer in and go down to Weaver's and get her tag. I was just walking in and they clear cut that and he just walked out. Yes, because they, they go into those yeah, just, just walked right out, right in front of me. <laughs> right now Chris is talking to the guy that's going to cut up the deer for us. Our awesome friend Sue is like, oh, I know a guy and called, texted him and he's like, yep, bring it right over. So thankfully we're just one and done. We don't have to do anything with it. They're getting ready to hoist him over. 